Hi, today we're going to look at Einer Kleiner Nacht Music, which is by Mozart. You probably remember we did Mozart for March. Well, since as it's May, we're going to do a little bit more of Mozart in May. And this is a wee tutorial to help the primary fives and sixes. Some sevens might want to do this one as well. Um, it is just the first line of a piece of music he wrote called Einer Kleiner Nacht Music, which you can look up online and see if you can work out what the translation is. Some of you have already done that. So it starts on open A and it goes down to D1. Did you notice I left a tiny gap that is a half beat rest there and there. So we play the crotchet, a half beat rest, and then this D1 is a quick quaver, back up to open A crotchet, a quaver rest, just a wee half quaver rest, and D1 again, and back to A again. So I'm now going to show you how to play this second bar. It goes from A down to D1, and back to A. All quavers up to a C sharp, two fingers on A, and then open E. So I'm just gonna play these last three notes, A, C sharp, and E. When I put those fragments all together, we get coffee, coffee, tea, rest. I'll play the second bar. Why don't you pause the video and try that bar? Now we're going to put together bar one and bar two. I'll go a little bit slower and you can play along. One, two, three, four. to pause the video and try that again that would be a great idea. I'm now going to move on to bar three. So we start with three fingers on A. Can anyone remember what we call three fingers on A? Let's count up from the open A string. So one finger is B, two fingers is C sharp and three fingers is high D. Then we've got the quaver rest again down to a B, back up to high D and back to B. So it's a little pattern. Three fingers on A, one finger, three fingers, one finger. With this rhythm. Rest. Rest. Do you want to pause and have a practice of that? Now I'm going to show you this last bar. So it's the high D again, and then three Bs. All quavers, coffee, coffee. And then we finish off with a crotchet, first finger on D. Do you notice that that note is just on the line above an open D? That's how you know it's gonna be a first finger on D. So I'll just play the last bar, coffee, coffee, tea, rest. Rest. If you want to pause your video and have a practice of that, and then we'll come back and we'll try the last two bars together. Okay, let's try the last two bars. So we're going from three fingers on A down to B. Same again, three fingers down to a B again, but this time with a quicker rhythm, finishing on D1. Whoops, so we're going to take it from the A3. Remember that's called high D. Three, four. Hold 
pause the video and have a practice. Now I'm going to play it all the way through. I'm going to do it a little bit faster first. Pause the video and have a try. Now I'm going to play it slower and you can try and play along. Three, four. Well done. Give it a good try. Have a practice of it. And if anybody wants to video themselves or even just make a recording without the camera showing, so you can cover that up if you don't want me to see, um, you could send it to me either on my email, which is the glow address you'll find on Teams, or you can just post it on Teams. Hope you manage. Bye.